five years ago. I almost quit playing the harp. I was a young mom in a failing marriage. I was struggling to pay the bills and teaching, gigging, raising my boys. And it, it was a really, just a really tough time. And that's when I also, I'd sort of lost hope in the idea of maybe, maybe something will change. And then Barbara asked me to play at the Children's Development Center. So the kids there, they, they struggled just to get through the day. They struggled in a world that didn't fit them, made no sense to them, didn't understand. And it was often a very difficult gig to do. But of course I went. And that's where I met Charlie. So Charlie was the last one in line. The kids all came up to touch the harp or just be close to it. And he just stood there, didn't really look at me, reached out one finger and almost touched the string. And then eyes glanced just peek. And he said, twinkle. Okay, Charlie. silence in the room. Charlie just barely glanced at me again and then walked away, shuffled away, just back in his own world. I felt that tingle again. Well, well you know, a little bit of the tingle. I, I did feel it. And the silence was just there. I don't even know what happened next. I packed up my heart, packed up my equipment, and went out to the car with Barbara. And then she, she's looked at me. And she had tears in her eyes. And she said, you don't know about Charlie. No, there, there was something. There, there was, there was something about him. Something that happened. She said yes. Charlie is autistic. He's never spoken a single word. He's five years old. And Twinkle was his first word. struggle since then. But Charlie put the music back in my fingers and the magic back in my heart. I'm still playing. And every time I play Twinkle, I cry. Thanks, Charlie.